Hey there, how we doing? My name is Jennifer Moffitt. I am a certified health coach and I welcome you to my YouTube page. Please feel free to share this with someone you love uh, and care about. I wanted to bring you, I titled this just for you because it's just for you. It's for anyone. It's for the kids, it's for grandparents, it's for parents, it's for single people. It's for any, it doesn't matter your background, doesn't matter. It's for anybody, it's just for you. So I wanted to talk about self-care. Self-care is so important, y'all. Um, it gives us the resilience and the energy we need to face those challenges of life. Um, it's not just indulging in a Netflix binge for the weekend and having ice cream and pizza. That's not self-care. Actually, self-care is, is a little bit more deeper than that, mind, body, and spirit. But um, I just want to talk about the physical and some other areas. And I do have some notes here that I'm following. All right. So, um, first off is sleep. And we talked about sleep a little bit in my latest YouTube video. It's I posted it a couple days ago. But feel free to go back and watch any of my previous videos if you like. And I really just want to help people with their wellness and overall lifestyle um, habits. So, sleep. So, that's part of your physical self-care. That's really your foundation. Because without sleep, you are definitely not the, the best version of yourself. Okay. Now, granted, there's going to be times when you have to stay up late with the child or studies or emergencies or whatever that is but try to catch up on that sleep that you that you missed okay so there's different ways you can do that set your bedtime try not to eat three hours before bedtime uh, if you're going to do something do some hot tea I'm personally a big hot tea drinker lately love it um, I have replaced it with some of my red wine that I used to partake in quite a bit um, okay so, and then of course you have movement. That's another physical self-care. So that's exercise. I started my exercise self-care routine about six years ago, and it was a game changer for my anxiety. I had major anxiety that I had faced throughout my adolescence into adulthood. And, um, dealt with it in different ways. And then when, once I started exercising, and, and moving, I always loved to dance, but I never was uh, committed to an actual routine. So once I did that, definitely a game changer for me. So movement, and movement can be, it doesn't have to be getting up and doing Zumba for 45 minutes or going to a CrossFit routine. It could be walking, okay? Uh, maybe it's walking inside, because I know where I live, it's raining, it's been raining all week. Perhaps it's pulling out your yoga mat or a blanket or a towel and putting it on the floor and doing some stretching. That's movement, okay? Um, it could be running, jogging, it could be swimming. Whatever that looks like for you. Perhaps you have a piece of workout equipment in your garage that you haven't used in a while. Maybe you use that. Um, get on it for 15 minutes. Do some movement. That really fires up our brain, and that's so important for self-care. Okay, and of course, fueling your body. Fueling your body is so important, okay? Because without the right nutrition, how can we do any of this? So, um, really important to eat uh, what we call green light foods. Anything that's grown, okay? Fruits and vegetables, not processed. You have an apple right? Well, once you make that, turn that apple into an apple pie, that's no longer a green light food. So if you want to hear more about my traffic light eating teachings, I'd be happy to educate you and your family on it or share with you. So feel free to ask me. All right. Um, psychological. Okay. So that's your mindfulness. Um, and that's being aware. Okay. And I want to share something. I just had, I just celebrated a birthday and I'm so excited. My dear aunt sent me this mindfulness book and I want to read to you, um, one little phrase here. Mindfulness is simply being aware of what is happening right now without wishing it were different 
enjoying the pleasant without holding on when changes, which it will. Being with the unpleasant without fearing it will always be this way, which it won't. So you just have to really, I was listening to some morning encouragement and they said that you, you have to just really embrace um, all of it. You know, whether it's an unfortunate circumstance you're in, just put your best face on and keep moving, um, even if it is unpleasant in that moment. You have to be mindful and take control and not let your mind, you know, uh, dominate. Okay. All right. Um, emotional. Manage your compassion for others. Um, so that's managing your stress. And that's another biggie for me personally, because definitely been challenged with that in my life. And so I'm all about progress over perfection anytime. And um, so uh, some, some ideas or some tips around the mindfulness, maybe journal, perhaps read, uh, perhaps you pull out um, some pictures and go through, maybe laugh a little bit, maybe cry a little bit, just embrace it. Um, and then, of course, we're going to lead into social, which is friendships. Friendships, even if you just have one or two good friends, maintain those friendships. Maintain that communication. Uh, find the best way to communicate with that person and activate it. Okay, make it happen. Um, of course, we have financial, self-care, and that's just not living outside your means. I mean, just be, you know, whatever that looks like for you. I know for me, I had to set an actual Excel, Excel spreadsheet for a budget. And I do that not just for our, our business that me and my husband run, but also for myself. Um, and then lastly, and this is a great one right now because a lot of us are quarantined um, still, um, or we've been quarantined, and a lot of people, have, I've seen a lot of friends and family do this, is declutter, which is your environmental self-care. So that would be a situation where you, you tackle that closet, you tackle that desk, you go through all that paper, Maybe you organize photos. That's a great activity and that you could also incorporate family with. If, if you have, if you're there with family um, and you're quarantined, then that's great to do that because we still just need to be all very mindful of what's going on out here uh, around us, but do self-care. So there's just so many ways to do self-care. I like a cup of hot tea. I like to sometimes soak my feet in Epsom salt, the Himalayan salt, uh, and then I'll paint my own toenails, you know, because let's face it, everything has been closed. So I've been embracing little things like that. Me and my husband played a board game yesterday, little things like that. That's definitely in the self-care realm. Uh, so. Feel free to share this with somebody you love um, in your in your network or family, and I hope that you got something out of this. But um, and you know, don't get me wrong. You can still Netflix and you know have that scoop of ice cream. That is a great treat for yourself, and it's a special occasion kind of thing. Um, and or maybe you're going out to Marshalls and doing some retail therapy. I did it myself. It was fun. It was a little different with the mask. But hey, you just got to embrace it. I was just being mindful in that moment and embracing it. So this is just for you. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Thanks for joining me.